Hi guys, in this video we are going to see what is mitre flange and how to make it in SOLIDWORK. So, to start with, let's say we have something like this to manufacture, to design. And we need to add the same fold on different edges of sheet metal. So to do that, we use mitre flange option in SOLIDWORKS to make it look much better. So you can see how this looks. If we don't use mitre flange feature, then we have to use edge flange on four sides, then make individual edge flange again, then another flange on, on the end of this side. So that is actually very time consuming. So to save that time, we just make one sketch and take that sketch and make a series of flanges on different edges. So that method is called mitre flange method. Now let's start with SOLIDWORKS. Now I've just created one sample to show you what we are going to make. Let's say we are going to make this and we are going to add this flange on series of all three or four edges. Okay, now let's just close this and start from scratch. Again, front plane. We just created a rectangle, or we can just go there. Rectangle. Smart dimension. So one meter by five hundred. Okay, we are happy with this. Exit sketch. Now, with this being a base flange, we are going to make it. 1.2 thick sheet metal okay now if we zoom in we can actually see faces of thickness so there are two ways to draw a mitre flange first you can either click on mitre flange and select the edge so it will automatically take you to the normal of that face plane. We selected this. If we make a flange on this side, it will be one, two, three, all and four. It will be on a series on all four edges. So let's start. I want to show you another method. Uh, let's go with another method. Just right click, just go normal sketch. Now you can easily make a sketch here. Something like this. Dimensions that is, let's make it 200. Make it 35. Make it angle 135, that is correct. And make this height 20. Okay, now we exit sketch. So we can see it is in, it is drawn on this face, but perpendicular to this face. All we have to do is just click on a mitre flange and select a sketch. It will auto propagate on on the face to select the edges that you want to do. The limitation on this one 
on this feature is you can only go and make it in the series. So if you want to make one here and one here, you cannot make it. It will only work between two edges. So there, there, and if you want to make on four sides, we can make it on a four side. But let's make it on three sides. Okay. Looks good to me. Now, if we want to change any dimensions, let's just go change the dimension. Make it 200 to 100. And see what, what that makes the difference. So see, now the flanges has automatically changed the dimension. Now let's just modify it. And we don't want to make this shape. Delete. Now we want to go make a bench. Make it 50 and 15. So we are happy with this. Let's exit. Let's see, it will make it into three slide miter flanges. So yeah, this is very easy to know how to do it. All you have to make sure is on which plane you guys are making the sketch. It will save you a lot of time. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Next video, we are going to learn about handfold and sketched pen. Thank you very much.